and welcome to Soul Symbols. My name is Shelley. I'm a writer and astrologer and a card reader and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today is Saturday and so today is the weekly energy card reading. Uh, this is where I pull out three different tarot decks. Uh, tarot is the meat of a card reading and what I'll do is I let the watcher choose the deck of their choice. Um, I do ask that you just choose from your intuition. You can choose from the deck style, the art style, or I usually put an object on top of each deck. And after you choose your deck, I will go ahead and do a three card spread and I will clarify using different oracle and other other and other devices. Um, I enjoy card reading because I feel like it is a way to kind of analyze and focus on problems. But uh, the weekend energy readings is just basically where I pull your energies and I see what messages come out for the week. Um, a lot of times we see some really positive themes and, you know, it kind of gives us an idea of how to handle what might come along in the next seven days. Um, as always, if you feel like the message does not resonate, then by all means, you do not have to take the messages. Um, there is a saying in tarot, it says, keep, we, we always say, keep what resonates, leave the rest. So if, if you did not, if you picked a deck and it, it didn't quite resonate, you could either choose a different deck or maybe this week there is just, you know, no messages for you and that's completely okay. Um, all of the names and authors of the decks and the materials that I use are in the description box below, as are the timestamps. If you want to jump straight to your reading, by all means, please feel free to scrub forward. Um, as of today, I have 13 subscribers and I'm, I'm so fortunate. I'm very grateful for all of the support and I want to thank everyone for supporting my channel. And, um, and today we're going to do something kind of fun. Um, I felt like it had been a while since we had done any animal um, things. So the, of the three decks, I, I went ahead and paired the, um, the decks with animal stones. Uh, the first deck is the Tarot of the Southwest um, Sacred Tribes and uh, which is a very Native American art type of deck and paired with it I have a Eagle Jasper and this guy is so cool. <laughs> He can, he can lay this way or the other way, but so the, the eagle, the Jasper Eagle and the Tarot of the uh, Southwest Sacred Tribes is deck number one. Uh, the second deck, I went with the Morgan Greer and, um, and paired with him is one of my favorite animals. This, this is a blue gold stoned frog. It's a little difficult to see. Let me go ahead and focus. I love this guy because he does have a little bit of an imperfection under one eye, but I really, really love him. He's a, he's a good, he's a good air, uh, a good egg. And then the last deck is the Line Strider Tarot by Cilio Thompson. And um, paired with it is a Tiger's Eye Bear. So that is deck number three. Now, um, after I pull your spread, I will go ahead and clarify using the messages from your spirit guide uh, by Stephen Farmer. And I have a unikite turtle on top of him. <laughs> and then um, I also felt like we hadn't done um, charms in a while. So I am going to go ahead and um, further clarify using charms. And what that is, is I kind of rummage around in the bowl and I'll, I'll pick a thing of, um, of charms, a handful, a small handful of charms. And this is actually quite beautiful. This is a, a little bit of an early Christmas gift. My mom sent me a little bit of money and I put, I put the, the financing towards some uh, tarot equipment. And um, I went ahead and got a dice tray just to make it a little easier. And this is felt, so it really holds the dice, uh, the charms nicely. But what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and I will freeze the video and let you choose your deck. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So to begin, deck number one, Tarot of the Southwest Sacred Tribes. And we'll go ahead and do your Jasper Eagle. All right, so deck number one. And this is, uh, this is for the week of the 21st through the 28th. I don't think I said that before, so. 21st through the 28th, what kind of week? What energies, what, what events can we look forward to? I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. There were cards behind it, but oh, thank you. try to stick with three cards or less but this deck seems to thank you seems to want to come out with multiples. Okay. Oh, thank you okay and what is our energy 
Yoshi. Okay, this one really wants to. Oh, shark. Awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull your charms now. We're going to do it on, on camera. So let's go ahead and put the tray down. Dig deep, big money. Okay, what's our energy? Deck number one. those magnetized <laughs> okay yeah, I'm gonna try to leave it as best I can all right so deck number one now the beginning of the week you got the knight of swords so the beginning of the week you got you got a lot of energy going on and this is very forceful energy uh, the knight of swords is he's usually seen as jumping head first he's he's very energy laden he he's like flying into a situation and he's got he's got a lot of energy um now excuse me now this could be a person or this could be you but basically at the beginning of the week there's going to be a lot of words flying like there's going to be a lot of action and it's going to be a lot of talking so at the beginning of the week i just feel like um it, it kind of feels like your energy and I really think that you're going to be just kind of jumping head first into the week. There's going to be a lot of things that you need to do. Maybe, um, maybe if your job requires a lot of communication. Um, and again, the knights are the doers. They're the action folks and they're the ones who kind of go to battle. So in the beginning of the week, you're going to be really going to battle and there's going to be a lot of, and I mean, the Knight of Swords doesn't have to be a bad character. It's not like you're going to take any verbal barbs or anything like that. But I definitely see you kind of getting stuff done in a verbal way. And it's going to be very fast and furious. It's going to be like, mm, you know, you're almost running full speed. Now, the fact that that I, I take into consideration the way that the, the knight is d depicted in the deck. The fact that he's kind of holding his sword um, kind of makes me think that mm, I'm getting kind of a meeting vibe. I have a feeling as if um, you're standing at attention and waiting for your command. It's almost like if you looked, if you were looking at this card from the back side, he was either, you know, this knight would be looking at a king or looking at a at an emperor uh, waiting for direction. So I have a feeling that you are the knight of swords. You are the, you're the doer. You are the mental uh, doer. And, and you're just, in the beginning of the week, you're going to be getting, you know, commands or, or there's going to be a lot going on. Now, the fact that we do have holiday in the middle of the week, um, I'm, I'm seeing this right around like Christmas, Christmas Eve. And again, whatever your, whatever your religion, if you celebrate other holidays, by all means, it's kind of the same thing. It's right around the time that um, there's a federal holiday for, for Christmas. And so I just have this feeling like maybe you have to work Monday and Tuesday and you're just going to be kind of busy. You're going to be getting, finishing up things or you're going to be, I ha maybe that's why he's waiting is because because there's a lot of things to be done but honestly when you're you know when it's the day before a holiday it's not like you know that there's going to be kind of that gap in between but you're 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 ready to go but you're kind of standing at attention waiting for things to happen now by the middle of the week and again this is right over the holidays and gosh guys uh, we got the three of Pentacles, we got the five of wands we've got temperance and you got the Knight of Wands. So wow, guys, the fact that these are wands, that's pentacles. I see, um, I see over the holiday, like over Christmas Eve and Christmas, or again, however you celebrate over the federal holiday that's gonna be in the middle of the week. I definitely see, I see there being some kind of cooperation going on. There's some kind of, there's some kind of cooperation between people that needs to occur. And what it is, and, it, and again, you see this person kind of standing at attention, and he, he does, he almost looks like he's standing to the side of the of of what looks like a doorway with the pentacles overneath uh, over the overhead so I, I have a feeling that um there's some kind of cooperation or there's there's people that you need to cooperate with um but the the cooperation has been a little bit rough going um this could be family members um it could be this really almost looks like something that may have started before the holiday and and again you know the moment that you 
you know, you need to get together in a social setting to celebrate a holiday. Sometimes, you know, sometimes those simmering tensions kind of come to the, the fore when, you know, when you have to be around family. But here we have the Five of Wands and you can see how there's people kind of sitting. It, the way I kind of read this is it almost seems like I think that you are you were in cooperation with either family members or someone that you need to you need to work with you need to collaborate with but the way that this seems is you see five people that are kind of above or they've, they've gone up the steps and above and they have their backs to you and typically the five of wands card means um, it means conflict it just means it means competition so here I just kind of have this feeling as if as if over the holiday you might be getting around people that might not that you might not be on good terms with not in a bad way it could it could also be just that you know the holidays you know um, anytime you get a group of family members with really diverse different personalities in one room it, it never fails you know sometimes not to say it's all conflict but it's never all smooth sometimes either it's it's people getting together but um, underneath it you got temperance and this is actually quite a beautiful card because temperance is the angel that is tempering two different jugs. And what it is, is in the traditional tarot, uh, temperance is, it is the red, um, the red jug of masculine and the blue jug of feminine. And um, not to say this is a masculine feminine thing, but what it is, is it's almost like mixing fire and water, which don't mix well. One usually extinguishes the other, right? And, but here you have this angel, you have this higher spirit, you know. So I really think that you you are in some kind of collaboration situation that isn't going real smooth or hasn't gone smooth in the past. And the universe is really trying to calm those troubled waters. Like it's trying to, the universe has your back in the middle of the week. It, it's almost as if there's peace coming to this situation and it's almost kind of divinely guided. But you you are in definitely in a good energy with it because you got the Knight of Wands, which is um, the Knight of Wands is that action oriented knight. Um, he's not as mature as a king, and the fact that you have knights in both places, um, you might be coming to this. You know, at 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 the beginning of the week and in the middle of the week, you're coming to you're approaching this with a lot of vigor, with a lot of energy because knights knights are almost like the early twenties kind of energy they they really they're the go get um and they're the doers and here excuse me i've had the hiccups today excuse me but um here you have the knight of wands which is action but here definitely um it, it can be a little bit of an impulsive energy, but it's someone who's willing to take action though. It's someone who's willing to take action. You're not afraid to go to whatever this is, this social gathering. You're not afraid to, you know, you know, cl collaborate with people if you have to collaborate with people. But I, I do think that you're kind of, you're almost harnessing the energy of the Knight of Wands in order to do it in kind of a gung-ho way. It's like, okay, charge in, you know, which is also, both, both, of these, both of these knights really charge in. They're not slow in the way that they do things. They're, um, they're both kind of impulsive, but you definitely, um, it looks like you're balancing some kind of, again, this is cooperation, this is conflict, and it's almost like, it's almost like the, the, these are the two jugs that are being balanced here. Um, over Christmas, right? It's almost like we're trying to smooth the treble waters of whatever's going on here, and it's two opposite energies. But you're willing to do the work. You're gonna, you're gonna, the only thing I would caution is that the Knight of Wands is a little bit of an immature energy. Sometimes he can be very blunt, and you definitely got Universe trying to help you calm this situation, but you know, try not to say anything that would aggravate this. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing with the wands is that he can be a little cocky. So, you know, if you're coming in in that energy, you're going to be quick to talk. You're going to be quick to take action. Now, by the end of the week, and this might be as a result of something that's, you know, something that occurs over Christmas might result because in the end of the week, you got the hanged man. 
And the Hanged Man we're actually talking about coming up this Tuesday. I do a How to Tarot series, and uh, we're going to be talking about the Hanged Man on Tuesday, so if you want to stay tuned for that. But the Hanged Man is seeing something from a different perspective. It's almost like it's almost like this is going to be, this event is going to be a little bit of a, you know, um, you've heard of a coming to Jesus meeting. Um, you might be getting some news about some kind of longstanding situation or you, you might get better clarity about the situation that you're in uh, over the holiday. And then by the end of the week, you're really just kind of thinking about it. Because what the hangman is, is the hangman looks really uncomfortable. He's hanging up by one foot and he's staring out. But when you look at his face, his face is very placid. His face is very calm. In this, in this depiction, he's wearing a mask of like one of the ceremonies for, you know, the elders. So here it's, it's kind of saying this person has gained wisdom. And so what it's telling me here is that you're gaining wisdom through the situation, but definitely over the course of the week, you might get, you might get told where you are. Like, you know, the, the angels is tempering the situation, but it doesn't mean it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be a balance between, you know, you and whomever else you have to collaborate with. So it's, 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 it's balancing it, but you're going to have to kind of you're going to be in a you're going to be in a place where you kind of understand your situation and you're kind of gleaning a lot of wisdom and that's actually a really good card to see after all of this night energy because you're going to start off the the week in kind of this young impulsive energy now the other thing that tells me that it's you know it's some some kind of news or some kind of event that's going to Tell, you're going to get a status update <laughs> over the holiday. Something is going to happen where you're going to know where you stand with some kind of either family or work situation. And then by the end of the week with the hangman, the one that flipped over is the ace of wands in reverse. And what that is, is that the ace of wands is usually the strike while the iron's hot. You know, everything's flying kind of card. But when it's in reverse, it means that things are delayed. Um, it doesn't mean that events are not moving fast. Events are moving fast. It's just, it, it really is kind of giving me a stuck vibe, but not in a bad way. You, you understand why, why things are delayed and you're, you're gaining a lot of knowledge with the detour. It's almost like life's detours. That's the other thing I'm getting here is that, you know, um, sometimes there are stop signs in life. Sometimes you want to go full force, full speed ahead, but you know, you get told, okay, no, slow down. There's something else that, there's something else that needs to be learned in this situation before you just, you know, go like bull in China shop, you know? So by the end of the week, you're going to feel a little delayed, but you're going to know the reason that the, that it's it's, it's divine guidance that's delaying you. Now, your advice is you got shark. Trust in your instincts and to discern the truth of the situation. Oh my goodness, guys. And again, there's something going on. There's something going on and you're gonna definitely be in some kind of status update mode by the middle of the week and it's right around the holiday time. But when you look at the, the, the hanged man and the shark, those are almost the same ener energies. It's like you are upside down and it is an uncomfortable position, but you are, you, are, you are using your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. And that's your advice, that's your advice. Try to, try to, whatever you're feeling, you know, maybe you're being told certain things, but trust your gut at this time because your instinct is really going to serve you correctly. Now, let's go ahead and look at your charms. And I am, I'm already loving this tray. But um, this is interesting. You got you got the the red horse in reverse, and I definitely think I always think of this red horse as being the knight of of uh, being the knight of wands. But and again, the fact that it's in the reverse, and the fact that you got the eight of wands in the reverse, um, you know, I'm. You know that I think it's a 90s song. It might even be an 80s song if that's. <laughs> um, you know, there's a song that goes slow down. You know, I'm getting that in my head. Really, it's the universe is telling you there's a detour here, but um, I always have a thing called stop signs. Anytime you get delayed, instead of getting frustrated, think of it like a stop sign, and stop and look around. It never fails me that every single time, every single time I'm forced to slow down, there's something there that I was meant to see. Now, the other charm she got is she got the dog. 
Um, and the dog means loyalty. So this could mean one of two things. It could either mean that there's a, there's a loyal friend that's here. Um, now, again, I'm seeing two knights. So maybe, maybe the friend is kind of an air sign and you're a fire sign or vice versa. Um, either that or it's, this is a way of telling you be loyal be loyal to, I, I know sometimes when situations get chaotic, um, you really want to just up and walk away. If, if you feel like someone's arguing with you for no reason, you're just like, oh, okay, screw you, you know, walk away. But here it's kind of telling you to be loyal. And that could either be loyal to what you believe to be true, or it could be telling you to be loyal to the people in your situation, but definitely trust your instincts. Trust your in instincts on who to trust and, and what to believe. But then we here we have the starfish, and the starfish is such a beautiful thing. Um, starfish is regeneration. Um, it can also, because the starfish has all those feelers underneath, I think it is also telling you to feel out a situation. But the beautiful thing about the starfish is, especially with regeneration, a starfish can be could have can be cut. It can have all of its limbs cut down. It can be it can be just one little, you know, corner of one of its of its of its legs, and it can completely grow back from that one little piece. So here it's telling you that you know you might have some pruning going on right now. You might have some things that are really making you feel cut down, but just know that you are going to be able to bounce back from this. Now, what I have is I have magnets that are uh, mixed in, and what it is is the magnets kind of hold on to things and each other. And you had two magnets clipped together. You have insp create and inspire. So that's really telling me that you, you know, the other thing about the swords and the knight of wands is that they're very, very creative. They're very creative, especially the wands. And maybe this experience, maybe part of the, the standing still or looking around might be inspiring you to do things or to create something new. Um, but definitely, I think it's also just telling you that if, if things are, you know, if you feel kind of waylaid, you know, um, do something creative. And that would be, um, creative activity really does regenerate you. It makes you, and again, with the starfish, I think it, it it helps keep you level when things are challenging and i think that's really important now the other thing is we had a little piece um we i have this little kind of has metal on the back but it's this little purple stone and i definitely think of amethyst but um amethyst is the it, it's not only the crown chakra of, sh of chakras but it's also kind of the stone of pisces which is the 12th house it's the it's the apex of understanding and that is definitely the hanged man it's like understanding that there's a higher purpose you know things are happening for you not to you and i think that is it's it was on the back of inspire and there's a butterfly on on the word inspire so i think it really is telling you that you know try to try to learn something from this experience even though it seems uncomfortable or it seems like it's it's just you know delaying you for no purpose um but you know i do think you know by the end of the week you're going to feel a little bit you know again you know you're going to feel detoured but try not to let that get to you and maybe just do something creative and that will really help you know help this this uh you know delay feel less pressing all right guys that was awesome i really enjoyed that and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put your charms right in front we have her put your dog there I like the little, <laughs> some of these charms are rubber, so it's great, you know, when they're mixed in with all my metal charms, you know. So the next deck we got the, um, the golden, the, the blue goldstone frog and the Morgan Greer. So let's go ahead and deck number two. What kind of week are we going to have? What kind of holiday are we going to have? Oh, wow. <laughs> You're going to have a romantic one. All right. Ooh. Thank you. I, I'll, I'll tell you right now, you can see how things are just flying. This is the deck that I learned tarot on. So this deck speaks to me. I, I, it's, very, <laughs> it's very good. Okay, end of the week, please. Thank you. Okay, these are just kind of small. Okay, let's 
see how quick that came out. <laughs> I love this deck though. Anytime, you know, I, I love all of my decks, but anytime I, I really, um, anytime I need a, a fast, clear answer, I'm like, ooh, Morgan Greer, Morgan Greer. Some advice, please. Okay, we'll keep shuffling. What advice do we have for, for deck number two? Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and get your charms, and we'll read them at the end. Date. Deck number two. What kind of week are we going to have? Ooh, we got quite a few. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I'm going to try to keep them, as, um, keep them as together as possible. All right, I really do love the charms. I'm going to try to do this more often. All right. Well, guys, and again, you know, we're going to keep in mind that there is kind of a federal holiday in the middle of the week, whether you celebrate Christmas or no, whatever your religious beliefs, uh, there is kind of a break in the middle. Um, now, at the beginning of the week, you got, you got quite, you got quite the spread. In the beginning of the week, you got the Ace of Cups un with the Knight of Cups underneath. So you're, uh, you're going to be making some kind of love declaration either that or a love declaration is going to be coming to you um and definitely someone is going to be real eager to connect with you and again the night is the is are the doers we've had a lot of night energy this week but the the night is the he's mr lover mr lava lava and he's going to be coming in and and the goal or the energy is a is a new love now this could be someone existing this can be a spouse it can be someone that you've known from the past or or someone new but basically you're just going to kind of you're going to get some kind of message of love in the beginning of the week and it's going to make you feel very warm it's going to feel like again I, I i love this deck because when you look at it you see the dove of peace and there's like this ball this orb of light coming out of this cup that's just streaming you know water down so the beginning of the week you're gonna you're going to have some kind of, and it could be a message, but I, I really get the feeling like it's going to be someone in person. It's going to be someone in person, um, but they're going to make you feel very, it's going to feel like a beginning, and um, it's definitely going to be a message of love. Um, it could be by someone who's younger or just someone whose energy is real young. I, when I think of nights, I think, you know, the early 20s to, you know, to the late 20s, but you know, not a king, but, um, and also this is a man on a mission too. That's the other thing about knights is they're, they're on the mission. So, um, you're going to feel kind of warm and fuzzy and you're definitely going to have some kind of beautiful message at the beginning of the week. Now, as we get towards the middle of the week, you're going to be really torn. Um, gosh, guys, um, I don't know if something about this declaration is going to put you in a situation where a decision needs to be made because in the middle of the week, you got the two of swords and you got the two of pentacles and the two of swords is, is it, it's, it's the it's the blockage card it's the mental blockage card you can see this person all of the water behind them is all still and you see a moon which represents emotions but this person has a blindfold on and they're very per perfectly balancing two swords so what it is is it's someone who's kind of not wanting to make a choice there's it's someone who's keeping their their feelings calm like it's almost as if they're they're saying oh okay i don't feel that no, I don't feel that. And the fact that it's all this water behind this person is that, again, I have a feeling that something's going to happen at the beginning of the week that's going to put you in a position where you kind of have to make a decision or, or you're going to feel like you don't want to make a decision. Now, underneath it, you got the two of pentacles and that's juggling. That's juggling a physical situation. So, you know, I'm definitely getting a vibe as if, as if, there, this this might involve people. It might involve people, and and the fact that you know Christmas is a time of year when a lot of people reach out. They you know, you you, you might have, I don't know, maybe you have an ex kind of reaching out to you, but whatever this declaration is, it's going to put you in a position where you feel like you have to kind of make a choice, and you know over the holiday you just kind of don't 
don't want to make any decisions. You, you're still, the jury is still out, so to speak. So you're just going to continue to juggle your situation. And that situation can be two, that can be two financial responsibilities. Maybe, you know, maybe this, you know, by, by accepting this cup, you would be, you know, walking away from another situation that you have um, financial investment in. And you're just, you're just not ready to make a decision. It isn't that you don't want to say yes to this person. It's just, you're really, it's, it's a tough choice and there's some kind of element here that you really don't wanna, you don't wanna make a decision. Now, by the end of the week, you got the judgment card. And the judgment card is, you can see it's, it's a trumpet blaring and it's people coming back from the dead. It's a calling. Um, I have a feeling that whatever's m making you have to decide, the universe is really gonna be speaking to you. You're gonna feel, by the end of the week, you're gonna feel a little closer to a decision. You might not, you might not make a decision yet. I'm not telling you that by Friday, all this is gonna be wrapped up in a bow or anything, but it is kind of telling me that definitely listen to what your instincts, listen to your heart, listen to your instincts, because you are going to be kind of getting a calling from the universe. You might be getting signs too. And again, you know, I love my channel, Soul Symbols. You get, you, you might be getting signs from the universe as to what direction to go. Now, underneath the judgment is you got, you got a few kind of, you got a few kind of, not so not so happy cards but you got the five of swords and you got the five of pentacles and then underneath it you got the knight of wands so this might this might very well be kind of your sign i don't know if um again it's another knight and the knight of rods is not a bad character but he's a very physical one um he tends to go for what he wants and that doesn't always mean that the other person gets their fair share of that. And the fact that you kind of have, you have a win-lose situation and you have someone who's left out in the cold. Um, so what this is telling me though is this can be m either one of two things. And the way that this is kind of pairing out, if you can see this, um, you can see the judgment is crowning the situation. Describing the situation are the two fives and fives are change. And then the root of it is this guy. So the way that I'm reading it is one of two ways. If, if your decision involves someone who's like a knight of rods, and that could very well be a fire sign, it can be a Leo, um, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, um, this person might either be in this situation, like the knight of rods right now, might be in a win-lose situation and f feeling like he's left out in the cold. He might be this guy. He might be this guy who's, you know, all beat up and bleeding, you know? And he, by the end of the week, you know, the, the solution or the outcome is judgment. It's, it's getting away from all of that negativity. It's coming alive again. It's, it's freeing himself. Like he goes from being in these really bad situations to saying, okay, no more, no more. And this could be you, this could be you. And again, you don't have to be a man to be coming out as the night. You can be a woman, but maybe by the end of the week, you're just feeling like, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough, I've had enough of win-lose situations, of someone being the winner and someone being the loser, mind games, you know, playing around and feeling like I'm just, you know, like I don't have anything. The other thing is that this is financial poverty. This is feeling like you don't have any money, like, you know. So if you feel like you're in the Knight of Rods energy, you might be coming out of this. You might be saying goodbye to this and the universe is calling you to get away from this. If, if there's been some kind of situation in your life that's made you feel like a loser or made you put you in a win-lose situation and then made you, feel, made you feel lack, you know, like you're not good enough, like you're not, you know, like you can't compete, then you're, you are rising out of that and the universe is calling you to get out of that. Now, the other way I can read this is that if, if this is you and this is the other person, 
the universe might be telling you that if this person played mind games with you, if this person, if, if, the, the, if the person who's making the declaration ever messed you around or did you dirty, if they ever made you feel like you were the loser or ever played mind games with you, if it definitely if there was any gaslighting, if there was any, any way that they made you feel like you were not good enough, um, the universe might be telling you that the right decision or the right choice would be to, to, to not go back to that, to not go back to that. So it's really, it's really kind of the way you interpret it. You could be the knight and you could have gone through these, these situations in the past and you say enough, okay, you know, I'm not having that anymore. Either that or the universe is kind of cautioning you, okay, you know, if, if you have a choice to make or if, if you're kind of in this balancing act with somebody, what you want to remember is, um, um, I, I believe that it, it's been quoted by both Oprah, but I think it's a Maya, Maya Angelou quote where they tell you, um, she, she says, when, sh when s the first time someone shows you how they are, like their personality, believe them. <laughs> um, and I, I always try to remember that, and that isn't to make quick judgments about someone, but if, if you've experienced something over and over and over again, and you just keep getting the same crappy end of the stick, this, this might be telling you, and, and again, we're coming to the end of a lot of cycles right now. We're coming to the end of a decade. We're coming to, you know, um, Saturn is moving into a new place. Um, this might be your opportunity to finally break free of this. And if you make that choice and, and go, and it's going to feel a little uncomfortable. The other thing about judgment is sometimes you don't always know where you're going, <laughs> you know? It is. It's just kind of like popping out of that, that. They're coming out of a coffin. I know that's a little strange, but you're popping out of that coffin like, okay, where where, where where to next you know and sometimes that's a little bit you do you feel naked you feel like you're reborn and that's what you are you're reborn but just know that you're reborn out from this um, you know so uh, definitely you know whatever whatever new beginning you can have that does not involve these really these are really not good energies um, that's the direction that you want to go now your advice card is you got ladybug and oh what a lucky card <laughs> this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life so yeah so basically it's just saying i i think that you've you know i think this year has been this year has been a hard one for a lot of people i, I i've talked to a lot of people who are like i am just ready for 2019 to be done bring on 2020 right bring on bring on the new decade and um but just know that for all of your work, everything that you've done, the universe wants to give back for that. And I think, I think you know, you're, you've got good things coming ahead. Now, this is really great, guys. Um, first off is you got, you got love. You got the heart charm. And oh my gosh, I mean, the fact, I always think of this as the Ace of Cups because it's that, you know, so here, you know, again, at the beginning of the week, you got some kind of declaration of love coming up and it's going to be real. It's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a big deal. Um, the next thing is you got is you got the bell. And I don't know if you can hear this, um, but I always think of the bell as um, a call for service. Um, so that either means that you are being called to service, either that or um, I also think that bells kind of clear the energy. Um, they're just very peaceful and I, I'm almost kind of getting that clearing the energy vibe with judgment. It's almost like with all this bad blood that occurred, it's almost like clearing that out and sweeping that away and, and just starting afresh. Now, the paperclip um, is green, and that's the heart chakra. And paperclips usually mean attachment. So the fact that you're really torn about some kind of decision, um, this could be an ex, or this could be some kind of love situation that's making you feel torn. But whatever it is, you're really attached to someone, and that's why this, is, this decision is tough. Because right over the holiday, you're going to be feeling kind of torn about something. Now, the other thing is you got the other symbol that means uh, in the last deck, we got the Knight of Wands and we got the red horse. You got the fire horse. And that also means I always think of the Knight of uh, Wands when I see this. So it's almost like you got the Knight of Wands. You just got confirmation. I really think that this is the person that's coming in and making some kind of declaration. Now, um, what we have is you have the crown. 
you have the princess crown, but you have the, the crown upside down. Um, so what that tells me is that um, I always think of this as kind of being a princess. <laughs> and again, just like I, I read the charms the same way I read the cards. I read it in context based on where it falls and, and the other things, the scenario of the story. But, um, you know, if it's upright, I kind of think of being a princess in the good sense. Like you feel you're just a dynamic woman and you kind of have it all together. Now, with the crown upside down, I think what that's warning of is it's warning of, I, I really kind of see that as don't be a drama queen. Like don't be a princess, like the, the, the negative interpretation of a princess. Um, if you are a woman watching this reading, um, I'm just kind of getting the vibe that if someone is approaching you with a cup of love, that's not an easy thing, if, especially if it is someone who's apprehensive about approaching you. You know, don't take that for granted, the fact that someone's approaching you in a love capacity. So try not to be prideful or try not to, you know, rebuff anyone. You know, don't be drama. Don't be like you're, don't, don't act like you're too good to receive their offer. Um, so that's one thing. Now, the other thing in this, if you, if you can see this, we've got, um, we got the blowfish and we got it upside down. <laughs> and I love this because I have a, a sticker, if you've seen my other videos, I have a sticker that says stress blows. <laughs> and that's what I think about when I see the blowfish. And the fact that it's upside down, I think it's telling me, you know, try not to stress. Um, this situation is stressful, <laughs> you know, being stuck in a, in a, and I can tell you, I'm a sun sign Libra, being, being stuck in the middle of a decision that hasn't been made, oh my God, I just can't, I can't deal, right? So try not to let that overwhelm you. Um, the other thing is, oh my gosh, you got Falcor the Luck Dragon. Oh, I love this guy. And um, I do, I think of the, 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 the character from The Never Ending Story. This is the, the, what I, I base his name off of because he is, he's the lucky dragon. And basically, I think of dragons as that core soul part of yourself. And I see him as a lucky omen. Um, and the fact that you got Ladybug that says this is a time of good fortune. Um, and in a lot, of, a lot of cultures in the Western world, they believe they see dragons as lucky. And so that's a luck dragon. Now, the other thing is you got the mountain, you got it upside down. And mountains in, I'm um, sorry, this is so difficult to see. Focus, thank you. So the mountain is usually in, um, in Lenormand's mountains are challenges. There are, and when it's upside down, I think you are coming out of a time of challenge. Again, I think we're, we're wrapping up 2019 and we're actually, um, you know, we're going to, um, we're going to be wrapping up the year very soon. Now, earlier you heard me giggle and this is the reason why is again, sometimes charms hook onto each other and you got the seahorse and on the seahorse, you got the puzzle piece. You got the puzzle piece. Now, one thing that tells me is that the seahorses, seahorses, um, they do, I believe that they mate for life when they get together. They have a lot of offspring, but, um, and what it is is they, they are also very abundant. That is the third symbol of abundance that you got. And the other thing is, uh, seahorses are the, the thing that says wait and watch. They're the symbol of wait and watch and see what happens because they don't move along very fast, but when they move, they, they get where they're going. And the, the puzzle piece means, the puzzle piece tells me that this seahorse, this seahorse that's coming towards you, this person, the person that you choose, the one who's meant to be your seahorse, uh, I know that sounds weird, I'm getting this vibe, is your missing puzzle piece. They're gonna, when, when, you, when you make that decision and you pick, just wait and watch, wait and watch, and then every all the pieces will come together, right? I, I think it's telling you that you do not need to make this decision now. You don't have to make this decision now. Um, there's definitely some advice from the universe that's left to, you know, you're gonna be called to do the right thing. Um, I think it is telling you to con take into consideration if, if you've seen behaviors in the past, take that into consideration, but um, definitely don't, you know, don't, don't be a drama queen, watch and wait, 
you are coming out of a time of, of great challenge. Your challenges are behind you now, and you are going to be in a position to receive. And you have the, a really wonderful love offer at the beginning of the week. I'm so, I'm, I'm really jealous. That's, it might even be kind of a grand overture. Um, so, you know, someone showing up with flowers or something like that. All right. So deck number two, that was really, that was awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put all your charms here. We had quite a few. Put Falcor over there. He just showed up. Uh, Falcor got pulled out yesterday for our, our Dungeons and Dragons reading. All right. So deck number three, we got the bear. I love this bear. He, he stays with the Line Strider Tarot all the time. And sometimes it can be a mama bear too. Sometimes I refer to it as a man or a woman. All right. So deck number three, what kind of week are we going to have? What is the energy for deck number three? The wheel of fortune is poking me in the thumb, but if it's meant to come out, it will. Thank you. middle of our week. What is deck three's middle of the week, please? Mm. And what is the end of our week? Oh, thank you. And this one really wanted to come out earlier. It, it flipped before, so. Now we got a little bit of what I call a naky bit, so I'm just gonna put a little emoji over it. Um, and I'll put my finger there when I hold it up to the camera. What is our advice? Advice for deck three, thank you. Okay, this fell right in my lap. Oh, you got one of my, you got my favorite card in this deck and I'll show you in a minute, but. All right, what are the charms for deck three? Oh, wow. Okay, very awesome. All right, so deck number three. Um, in the beginning of the week, you got you got heavy work vibe. <laughs> um, you got the Three of Pentacles, um, which is that collaboration kind of card, but definitely Pentacles usually mean the workplace. And underneath it, you got Emperor. So in the beginning of the week, and again, we have, um, as I've said with the other decks, we have that holiday in the middle. Um, you don't have to celebrate Christmas, but you know you have a fe federal holiday for the day by the middle of the week. Um, so I really think that the first two days, you know, up until Wednesday, you're going to be really working well, uh, working closely with some kind of male CEO kind of type of person. It's going to be someone that you look up to. It might be a boss or possibly even a boss's boss's boss because the emperor is the, the head of the tribe, right? He's the, he's the ruler of kings, right? And this is actually a really cool emperor. But um, you're going to be working in pretty close collaboration. And you can almost see that in the pinnacles, it almost looks like the one crow is kind of talking and he's top, up tall. And then you got what looks like kind of a younger crow looking up and listening attentively. So I have a feeling that you're the, you're the little crow listening to the big crow, or maybe you are the big crow and you're dictating to someone else what's going on. But basically, it feels like a kind of debriefing kind of feeling. By the beginning of the week, you're really going to be um, you're really going to be, you know, kind of in a work capacity or it could be a family capacity, but you're basically going to be, you know, listening to an elder or listening to a boss and kind of following what to do. Now, because, you know, the, the holidays in the middle of the week, um, 
it's not like uh, you probably are getting, you know, kind of the the the, the game plan for what's going to happen after the holiday, um, if it's work related. Um, but basically, I just feel like it, I do kind of get a very strong kind of work environment it's almost like you're do doing getting as much done as you can and it's more like a, a meeting kind of debriefing kind of work because there's really not much work to be done when you're looking you know when you only are two days away from a major holiday and you know everything kind of shuts down now by the middle of the week you got the lovers and oh my gosh what a beautiful card guys now the lovers can mean a choice, but in this deck, because it is the two sand cranes, and the sand cranes do mate for life, they're, they're, they're bonded uh, uh, birds. But um, I really get a kind of a vibe of movement. Um, I have a feeling that over the Christmas holiday, you're gonna feel a sense of movement in a relationship. You're gonna be, I, I really get the feeling as if you're gonna either um, feel more bonded to somebody or you're just gonna feel a little bit more in a committed zone. Um, and this could be, it doesn't have to be with a spouse. It can be with a spouse. Um, just something about the holidays being around family. You're gonna feel very close to either your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend. And just having those few days together is going to make you feel even closer you're going to feel like you're almost you know by spending time or spending that holiday together it's almost cementing and taking your relationship to a little bit of a higher level now by the end of the week and I'm going to put a finger over the naked bits yeah um, we got the the page of Pentacles and in this deck it's a woman and she's she's quite naked I, I you know but she's kind of holding up a Pentacle and oops sorry try not to show the bits she's holding up a pentacle and she's kind of looking at it right and what it is is the page of pentacles are the they're the novice right they're the ones who are learning how to do things they might not they might not do everything perfectly the, the first time but they're getting their footing they're almost kind of learning how to do something now the next card you got was the ten of wands um, now, the other thing is that when I get this vibe, when I see the page next to the 10, um, I have a feeling that this is kind of going back into work. Maybe maybe after the holiday, you, you go right back into work. You're going to feel pretty worn out. You're going to feel like you're doing a lot. It's almost like you got a happy reprieve, but then you jump right in and it, maybe it's a really busy day, the day after the holiday. Um, you're just basically going to feel like you're not really getting to, you're going to feel like you're, you're working really hard but it's not really getting you anywhere physically <laughs> um so i do have a feeling that like by friday or saturday you might feel like you're spinning your wheels and that could probably be in a work context um but just know that i i think it's just kind of um if you've ever had those weeks where you 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 go to work and then you you get back home after a holiday and you just you you're feeling kind of that gosh i wish i had the day off i wish i had taken the whole week off i wish i didn't have to go back to work i'm just working and toiling away and i'm not you know I, I, you know it feels like the dirge a little bit so you might feel that a little bit by the end of the week um you know you might feel like gosh you know um either that or just the fact that you know with with holidays there's all this build up you know you rush around you do the shopping you do this you do that and then by the end of the week you just you know it's it's almost like the day happens it's great you, you feel all lovey and then the day after it's just like right back to what it was except you don't have anything else to look forward to except for new year's right um so that it might be kind of that feeling um I know sometimes, I know my mom gets this too, she always says it, she's like January is always a really long month for her because she likes the lights and the warmth and the reds of uh, Christmas and then, you know, when you get into that kind of dead zone after the holiday, it seems like almost immediately after, you, you just kind of like, oh, well, you know, it feels just cold and not as sparkly and <laughs> so you might be you might be kind of um the other thing i associate this with is sometimes when you get you, you just you ever have a day at work where you just feel like the day is dragging um you you might be kind of feeling that on friday or even on saturday you might just be kind of worn out tired maybe you need to get some sleep to kind of recoup now the card that kept wanting to pop out is we got the fool and the fool is really, it's that positive, it's that new start, that new beginning, everything's gonna be great. 
Now, I do think that this is this is kind of underlining energy for the whole week because this one really just kind of wanted to pop out. But um, I do think that there's this week is going to be some kind of new beginning for you. And I'm definitely feeling like whatever conversations that are going on in work, there's something that's going to propel you forward. And then these connections that you feel over the holiday, they seem more romantic. That's really propelling you forward in your, your home and, and you know, um, relationship life. And then by the end of the week, you are going to feel a little exhausted, but that work, that work is the seed. That work is going to get you places. It might not feel like it so much. You might have kind of a long day, but just know that you are slowly but surely. surely. Um, it also could mean that you're learning something new. You might be learning something new. So, you know, that that's really beautiful. But basically you you are you know we talked a lot about how you know we're ending a cycle and we're going into a new decade i really get the feeling that this week is going to feel that way but definitely know that you are going places it might feel a little slow at times but you definitely have a new beginning there's new beginnings going on for you right now now your your advice cards is kind of three came out or you know i shuffled for three you got polar bear which is stand up for yourself and speak for speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome so really i get a feeling that this might be the work situation um you know if you feel like you're taking on a lot or you feel like you know maybe you feel like something again you know the fact that this emperor um, you know, the emperors can be a little dogmatic sometimes. Maybe either you're being dogmatic or you feel like someone is being that way with you. Um, don't be afraid to speak your mind. You know, don't don't overwork yourself and feel, you know, because all that does is bring about like resentment. If you want to bring something to this emperor's attention, definitely do that. Um, but again, as it says, stand up for yourself and speak the truth um, respectfully and compassionately and with no attachment to the income the outcome so um, definitely you know if, if you need to bring something to your manager's attention or you know or if you need to talk about something important with someone do it with respect do it with compassion and don't be attached to an income uh, and I keep saying income I don't know if that means something um, don't be attached to the outcome basically don't don't tell someone that this is what I expect by you know telling you this so you know, I think that's really great advice. Um, you know, just just speak your truth and, and stand up for yourself. You also got Siegel, which is now is the time for deep emotional healing. And you got my favorite card. I love this card in this deck. And she got Roadrunner and it says, keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. <laughs> and that is one alternate meaning of the fool. Sometimes it can mean literally being foolish, but when it's upright, it means foolish in a good way. Like, you know, maybe over the holiday, get loose a little bit. If you've been working really hard at, at work, you know, you know do a conga line around the you know the living room to christmas music or you know or to holiday music or you know do something fun do something loose you know definitely you know it, it seems like you do have some heavy energies especially with the ten of wands i think you're going to be working really hard but um it is saying that now is a time for emotional healing you know so you know stand up for yourself speak your truth uh, do so respectfully, you know, heal emotionally, and um, try to have fun when you can. Don't take life so seriously. Um, I always joke, I go, me, 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 me. Now, um, your charms really came out quite beautiful. I really, I really liked this. Now, first off, is you got, you got the angel wings, um, which basically means that you are protected. Um, you might have angels nearby, that could be someone that could be family members that have passed or it could be you know other angels um if you believe in you know the angels like you know above um, but that definitely means that whatever you're going through right now just know that you are protected nothing no harm's going to come to you if there's anything about this situation that makes you afraid to stand up for yourself please don't be afraid the angels are, are there and, and they're guiding and protecting you now the other thing that you got is you got the dragonfly and i absolutely love the dragonfly it, it has a lot of angel significance for me and it actually has an opal in this one but um dragonflies are born in water and they take to air 
and what they talk about is dragonflies are also protection but they talk about the fact that they come from um, water which is emotion and go to air which is thought and intellect it kind of tells you to be honest about the situation see things in a very clear light um, I think sometimes you know Sometimes when you see the lover card, it can mean that you have your rose color colored glasses on. Maybe you've met someone new and they just seem like the perfect person. But all relationships always are that lovey-dovey in the beginning. Um, basically, it's just kind of saying, um, I think it also kind of tells you, um, I, one thing I love about the dragonfly is the fact that it does go from water to air. I think it tells you to remind, it just kind of reminds you that your life or when you make a decision it shouldn't be all thought but it shouldn't be all heart either you you you've probably seen it in your life you've made a de decision that was completely based on your emotions and it didn't turn out right right um, and then sometimes you make decisions completely based on your you what you think is right and that doesn't make you happy emotionally so here I think with the dragonfly it just tells you to balance both of that if you can you know think of the situation if you need to make a decision or if you're if you're going down a life path um, you know just just rise above any illusions you know don't let don't let your emotions trick you into something but don't let your head rule too much either you know you kind of need a good balance between the two now um, the other one you got is you got the donkey <laughs> And I'll be honest, um, this can mean, and the fact that you got the emperor too, this could mean that you're either dealing with someone who's stubborn or you're being stubborn. Um, if it is you that's the emperor in this scenario, you could be coming across a little strong. You know how I told you that it can be someone who's being very dogmatic. Um, so, you know, you might, you might kind of want to check yourself. The other thing with the dragonfly is, you know, just if you're overthinking, if you're overanalyzing, either that or if you're really trying to control a situation, or if you're dealing with someone who's trying to control you. <laughs> Again, you know, stand up for yourself, be respectful. Um, and you know, also emotionally heal yourself. But it is telling you, um, it is kind of saying, try not to be stubborn. And I'll just say it as I read it, which is the other thing is try not to be stubborn and try not to be a jackass. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the other thing. It's that the emperor, he, he is the ruler of kings and sometimes he comes across as the ruler of kings, <laughs> which can be kind of arrogant sometimes. Now he's not in the reverse. So this isn't saying that this is you, but if you're dealing with someone who's acting this way, that you need to kind of encourage this person to, you know, don't be, don't dig in. Cause sometimes we want to fight fire with fire. If someone's being with stubborn with us, we want to be stubborn with them, but it's just telling you, try to keep it loose, try to keep it loose y you know keep it funny you know keep it funny again you got that road runner you know meet me you know just you know, try to and also try to find the f try to find the funny in the situation too I struggle with that but sometimes it's hilarious you know sometimes we get so serious and the only way to break the the to break all of that tension is just to kind of look at yourself and laugh maybe laugh at yourself a little bit it's like why so serious you know now the other thing that you got is you got the dolphin and oh wow you know the dolphin is a great one i think this is also reminding you to, to have fun it's reminding you to have fun dolphins are very intelligent they also you got you know what you got two symbols that are of both water and of air you know, dolphins are mammals. They breathe air, but they swim in water. Uh, dragonflies are born of water, but they swim to air. And look, gosh, guys, that's, you know, that's really saying something. I think it's really telling you, you know, if possible, try to balance these two emotions. You know, we didn't get justice, but we got the lovers. And those are two, that's kind of like yin and yang too. Now, one thing that we got here that I think is really interesting, and if you see it, the way that the charm fell is you got the teddy bear and it has the diamond ring in it and the what tells me that is that you you know look at this guy she got a teddy bear and you got a diamond ring now this can mean a few different things um it could mean that there's a child involved and because of a child you know it could be you, you know you becoming engaged um or committing to the the 
the, the parent, the mother or father of your child. Um, the other thing that it can also mean is that it can mean that your perception, and again, having this much emotion and air, it can mean that your perceptions of commitment stem from childhood. You could have a lot of, and the fact that it says time for some emotional healing, um, you might you might have some dogmatic views about relationships and it might be giving you some trouble in your relationships you know things that carry over from childhood now the fact that you got the diamond ring and you got the lovers I mean that really does speak of taking a relationship to a higher level and that doesn't mean to have to mean engagement it just means that you're kind of inching or, or kind of going step by step sometimes the very act of inviting someone over for Christmas can be another little milestone on this on the path to commitment but here the fact that the the diamond ring is is right there um, this could either mean that you know maybe maybe it is wedding and you know baby or it can be you know n n you could be getting engaged to the parent of your child or it could also mean that you just had that on your mind that's what's in your heart and on your mind um, is is you you want you want more commitment you you might be ready for marriage and children and um, but definitely with that lovers card over the holiday you're gonna have a very snuggly I'm I'm getting a feeling like you're really gonna have some kind of um, milestone going on that day which is great and it's gonna be a new beginning for you too because definitely with the fool you know that's that's a like a brand new life that's a brand new life all right guys. So that's wonderful. You have a really nice week going on. Well, I was so glad to do the charms. I really enjoyed that. I, I'm so loving this dish. I'm going to definitely let my mom know that the, you know, her contribution to my show was, was so appreciated and, and worked beautifully. And um, please join me if you'd like. Um, things are going to quiet down a little bit this week. Um, I did a lot of videos this last week. Um, <laughs> if you get a chance, if you want to check it out, we did on Thursday. This last Thursday, I did a special reading for Star Wars. On Friday, um, I did the D20, which is the Dungeons and Dragons read. And then today, I did the, you know, we did the uh, weekly energies. Um, so it's going to go back to normal next week. It'll just be two posts. But on Tuesday, we're going to do the How to tar Tarot, and we are doing the Hanged Man. And then the following Wednesday, we are going to do the Weekly Energies. Um, I thought about doing a reading on Christmas, and the jury's still out on that. I might. Uh, it's, it's been a really long week, and it would be kind of nice just to take a break. But we'll play it by ear and see. But I'm so grateful that you joined me today. If you are so inclined, if you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.